Hello, Shrieking Tubers, and welcome back to Let's Play Shining Force CD, Book 1, Chapter 4, Mission 17, with me, Blue Ankylo. Last episode, Blue fought off against the a very difficult Dantum boss, possibly because our levels were low, possibly because I underestimated an actual real Shining Force boss since it's been so long since we've had something dangerous. And um, after defeating him, we learned that... Uh, there was a bird, so Shriek has joined us. We've got our second bird, and uh, we're getting pretty close to Cyprus and Waldo. Where's Waldo? He's in Cyprus, that's all I know. Let's continue. Chapter 4 The Shining Force finally arrived in Cyprus, and King Edmund was waiting for them. Straight to battle! I didn't even get a chance to uh, resurrect anybody. Or add my bird. Why should I fight on the front lines? I'm the king, not a foot soldier. Oh, maybe I've been taken in by Waldo, but it's too late now. You could just surrender. Ah, king Edmund! Prince Blue and the Shining Force approach the castle. Oh, so soon? Curse Waldo. I never wanted you to come like this. Come to this. Alright, so luckily, it looks like... Dead characters revive uh, in between um, chapters. Now, one thing I was thinking about, I don't think it's true, but it's possible that by being cursed, the enemies target you more, or get more criticals or double attacks on you. That would be interesting, and that's the sort of thing a young Ankylo at school would have talked about with his friends. I'm not sure if there's any truth behind it. Just something to think about. Anyway, let's have a look at our map. Lots of mountains. Uh, maybe another chance for Guyan to stop sucking? We'll see. I'm not impressed so far. Or we could go replace him with another bird. Maybe. Uh, the birds at least fly over the mountains for sure. Or we replace Roos with a bird. I don't know. I want at least one warrior. We could replace one of the archers. Hmm. I don't want to do it yet. Uh, I don't know if... I have I have no idea if uh, Shriek's stats are even worth looking at, so... One bird might be enough. Also, we got our old friend the Dullahans. It's been a while. We got some Blyles again. A very narrow choke point. This is definitely a map for birds, I have to say. Well, we'll see. If things go bad, maybe I'll restart it and bring the bird instead, but... Let's just get going. So is there a route? Hold on. Is there a route along here? Yeah, so we could split up the force a little bit. I feel like sending everyone through the middle is just going to get all caught up. So I'll send the mounted units along the west side and probably send the rest through the middle. Especially if you're half decent at moving through the the, the, the mountains and the, and the forest. Like, clearly, Super Claude can go through wherever he wants to go. Oh, right, and before I forget... Uh, oh, he's got that power sword, too. Or the power ring. I gotta give that power ring to somebody else. So who should I give a little bit more attack power to? I mean, Blue could just use it. I should probably give it to Gaian so he can get a kill. And then if Gaian turns out terrible, we'll just put the power ring on someone else. But this, I feel like this might be a good map for Guyan. Alright, we're gonna send Mayfair through the middle. Guyan definitely through the middle. We want Blue to give him his ring. Domingo, I believe, won't be able to cross the uh, Black Mountains, but he can go pretty much everywhere else just fine, so. Domingo's another good character for this kind of map. You know, I should check enemies for item drops again, too, actually. I don't know about Roos. He's pretty good in mountains, so... I guess taking him along the mountain range is decent, but... Uh, he's pretty bad at forests as, as well, unfortunately, which is... You know, not good for us making this map go by quickly. Right, so before I forget... Hold on, hold on. Let me just do some item checks... 
Broadsword would be nice. That'd be an upgrade for uh, blue. Uh, well, whoever doesn't have the critical ring or the critical sword. Also, there's a heal ring down here. That's a... Or, sorry. Ahem. Ahem. Frog in my throat, clearly. An evil ring is a droppable item. Uh, it should have a pretty good spell if you want to use it. But, you know, probably cursed. Dullahans have broadswords, by the way. That's going to do some damage. Feels like there's not a whole lot other than that evil ring. Okay, that's fine. I'll try to get the evil ring, but we can pretty much ignore the rest. Oh, of course I... Bl I'm so smart, guys. Alright, well, Critical Sword is a huge upgrade. I mean, I can equip that if I need to, but I'll probably give that to Gaian still. I guess we know why, um... Part of the reason why Claude was doing so well there. Um, like, 63 attack is still amazing, but that Critical Sword really did put him in ridiculously high damage range. So I think it makes a little bit more sense spreading the, the value around a bit better. You know, I'm going to send Wendy to the left as well. Oh, well, this Belial is very brave. Eight damage, you say. Alright, and then Wayfair comes on down. Gaian could attack. Just want to check his stats here. 43 attack power. So 16 damage. That's worth it. That's not so bad. I, I wish I'd been smarter and given him the power ring. Because then he'd be doing 5 more damage approximately. But, you know, clearly he can damage a, a Belial. And hopefully we'll get him a level up. And I just, I, I need to see him get a few level ups. And if he gets level ups kind of like Cray or Claude, he'll be fine. But if he continues to get, like, one or nothing for attack, then we need to just bench him right away, because... You can't not have a weapon and not get attack power up. A heavy hit lightning bolt. Not ideal. Probably want to run Claude back now, because... You know, these guys are being mean to him. <laughs> He's definitely my glass cannon. Alright, Roos, I don't know how much you're going to do. All right, Domingo, can you save the day here, buddy? Let's move you over here. Let's see. So if I want to cast Freeze 3 later, we would need 24 to cast it twice. But then I can only spend 5 MP right now, which I don't. Let's just go Blaze 3. It should kill one Belial. Ooh, they might even resist Blaze 3, actually. Oh, well, they didn't, they didn't resist it enough. I still want to see Domingo get some level ups. I've heard he gets some pretty awesome spells if we can level him up more. Alright, you're going this way, Wendy. Lord! Uh, 27 defense. Yeah, you can just kill him. The dull hand would get an attack. 41 versus 29. That's 12 damage. He'd survive that. Unless he crits or something. You can't account for all the crits and double attacks. But this gets rid of any bolt shenanigans. So that's probably worth it. Alright. So there's a little puppy dog coming at us. Let's have Shade slow it down with some... Cannonballs, or whatever you call this. Now those enemies on the north side, I don't know what we're going to do about them. Alright, Claude took 10 damage. It's fine. It's going to be a bit of a longer map. We've got a long way to go this time. Eh, we'll just go for some light ice damage. 
Dullahan's, I assume, have, like, good defense, but low HP. So just a little bit of magic damage on them is kind of nice. Ooh, yeah, that's right. Cerberus is super fast. Reasonable choice. Take a chomp out of stock. Could heal him. All right, Guyan. Don't suck. <laughs> Five damage. I gotta get him that power ring because this is just pathetic. I I have a feeling everything we do with Guyan is just gonna be a waste of time. Oh, that's right. Straight in. Well, I thought they were gonna go after my uh, my uh, flimsy healers there, but he went for a critical fire breath on blue. That's how you lose runs in Shining Force 1. Although I don't think those kind of attacks can get crits in Shining Force 1. I think that's a uh, Shining Force 2 and CD specific. Now you can get a double attack. Oh, by the way, HP 3, attack 1, defense 2 on Roos. Not bad. Alright, Apis. Better just do some melee here. Alright, we didn't miss. And we got two attacks in. Great amount of damage. Good stuff, Avis. Level 3. HP 2, attack 1, defense 3. Quick 1. That's fine. Alright, Yisha. Can she kill anything? 14. 5. Oh yeah, she can definitely finish off the Cerberus. Alright, so... Now, it actually might only do 4 damage, to be fair. I'll use Blaze 2 here to do a little bit more damage to an enemy that resists fire. Because I really need her to get a level up. Yeah, 5 damage from Blaze 2. Clearly takes reduced damage. Alright, HP 1, attack 1, defense 1, quick 1. That's, you know, a little bit less damage in taking. And then Blue finally gets that power ring passed on to Gaian. So next turn he might suck a little less. Now up here... There's no guarantee that Wendy can move that far. So I think we have Stock finish this guy off. And if Stock gets no attack power on his next level up, man, I'll be talking about benching him. Level 5, HP 1, Quickness 1, no attack, no defense, Stock! Man, I thought he was going to be good. Like. His unpromoted level ups, I thought were pretty solid. He has changed my mind. Alright, Claude... Isn't really the one I want to get the kill here, but... Um, he's the hero we have. Maybe not the one we deserve. Alright, level 6 Claude, HP 1, attack, still 2, defense 2, quick 1. A little bit more of a balanced level up, because he hadn't got much defense up to now. I'm okay with that. Alright, we got a artillery cannon over there. Same old brass gunner. They're getting a little old though, so they're not going to do that much damage. Alright, so who needs healing? Just uh, primarily Cloud needs healing. A ton of HP. I'm kind of disappointed that uh, we're not getting 18 HP heals from our promoted characters, but I guess I'll get over it. Okay, I'm gonna send Domingo up. Probably want Claude. Claude's gonna get so many level ups on this fight. If I send Claude across the mountains to do with the North Forces as well. Alright, Guyan. Which way do we want to send him? If I send him down, he's going to get ahead of the group. He might... Eh, I doubt he could catch up with the Dullahan before the Dullahan gets in there. Maybe I send him up with uh, Claude to deal with those stragglers up north. Finally, getting into the mountain with Roos is probably a good idea. <laughs> Isha can just keep moving. It's going to take so long for anyone with bad mobility to get through this middle forest section. I 
I would like to get healed again, although... Yeah, we're just gonna wait up and get healed by, uh, Wendy. Maybe I'll do an aura, actually. Just to save some time. I guess I should be paying attention if, um... Well, that would get me 20 experience. Let's... Let's do the full group with a little bit less movement. Like, it's nice to move forward more to get to the boss quicker. But I want to get, you know, level ups. Also, what I was trying to say before I interrupted myself. Um, I wonder if the boss gets two attacks per turn again. We should be paying attention. Because, um... You know, last episode, we got a little bit surprised by Dantum. It looks like Edmund gets two attacks per round, because he just got a turn. So unfortunately, Apis hasn't been doing so well on the damage lately. Either not good enough level ups, or Power Spear is just not that great, but... Alright, Domingo... Which way do we want? We do want Domingo to go up this way instead? Yeah, it's fine. The Brass Gunner, you know, he's got a couple of my units next to him to finish him off. And if I let Domingo kill him, good dodge there. Uh, if I let Domingo do some damage, there's just less, like, less value out of Roos. At least by going up north, Domingo and Guyan can clean that stuff up in a couple turns. It's just going to be a long hike, no matter what we do. There you go. Pretty good damage there, Roos. Better than uh, a certain paladin I know. Alright, stock, man. <sighs> the only reason his attack power is good right now is the Buster Shot. So he's got 55 attack with a better weapon. And Shade has 53 attack with a worse weapon. And one level less. Gotta say, I got a bad feeling about this guy. That's what happened to, uh... Kashing's level ups. Just stopped getting any attack or defense or anything, and... Wasn't very long before I'm like, that's it. Get on my team. Let's see if I can lure them over with Claude, so that Guyan and Demigo can engage quicker. I think it's just gonna take forever to, blue, to get blue down to the enemy. Ah, Shay can get the kill, I guess. Doesn't matter. So this would be a terrible level to grind on. Uh, I'm not going to even consider it. I'd get Mayfair another level up if I want. Grinding out some quick... Uh, Healing XP isn't so bad. Alright, Apis takes a shot from the Brass Gunner. Apis seems to have pretty good defense, at least. Maybe more like Mei than, uh, than Ken. That was the problem with Ken in Shining Force 1. Typically low defense, good HP, but, uh... A couple good hits tend to bring him down a lot, and it's difficult to heal back up with, uh, with Shining Force-style healing magic. Alright, there we go. 13 damage. No level up. Domingo! Yeah. Get in there, do a little bit of damage, do a little bit of work. Now, hopefully I can set this up so Guyan can get some kills. Domingo, level 6. HP 1, MP 1. Attack 2, defense 2, quickness 1. He learned Bolt, I think that was. I might have missed it. I'm pretty sure he's supposed to learn Bolt anyway. Yeah, there you go. Alright, Bolt level 1. I kind of feel like this uh, western route is going to take so long, it's not going to be very useful, but... I guess I just wish... You know, if they're going to give us really bad mobility maps like this, I wish they gave us a few more units that were really good at getting through, like... D6 
you think Cloud could just get out of there and let those two kill him? You know, I think he'll be fine. Because at least then we can run Claude down to help deal with the boss. And assumedly Guyan and Dimingo can handle these two chumps. Take a little bit of damage here and there. I think that, um... Possibly... The, uh, Brass Gunner got two shots in before Guyan got a turn. I'm pretty sure Guyan just missed a turn entirely. Uh, well, we'll bring him a little bit lower for Guyan. Like, Domingo doesn't really need the level ups per se. He's already kind of a higher level than the rest of the crew by... Well, most of the crew, anyway. Well, how you guys doing? You enjoying the slow map? <laughs> it's uh, definitely not a fast map, that's for sure. It's just for funsies, you know. Alright, Guyan, here we go, finally. How strong is he? With the power of the power ring! Did I forget to equip it? I might have forgot to equip it. 12 damage with a double attack. Uh, I thought I equipped it. That's just terrible! Guyan! You gonna let them kill Domingo while you mess around? Well, we'll try to keep Roos in the mountains, at least. This one definitely reminds me of the, uh... The battle after you get Lyle... More so after you get Luke, when you have to walk through the mountains on the way to... To, um, Runefast. Oh man, that's such a long walk through those mountains. That's where Domingo usually really shines. Oh, we're going after Guyan again. Maybe we'll get a counter kill. Guyan? No, no counters. So which way are we going here, by the way? Are we going for the south route or the east route? I guess we'll split. Um, my thinking is one side will probably get the... Uh, the mages to go after, and the other side will have the boss to kind of disorient for a turn or two. Alright, level 2 Gaian. HP 2, attack 2, defense 3, quickness 1. Alright! It wasn't the attack 3 that I was hoping for, but... Attack 2, defense 3 is pretty good. Cerberus is definitely weak to ice. Can Mayfair move through mountains fast? I feel like there's something wrong with forests. Like, it 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 seems to me in Shining Force CD, the forests slow you down even more than they used to in previous games. Especially for, like, mages and, and warriors. But, I mean, I haven't, you know, checked recently. Alright, Domingo's still hanging in there. Maybe, maybe forests were just always this bad, and I just forgot. Blocked it out. Hey, we got some grass. Alright, Claude could go help out, but he doesn't need to. Let's fly him over this way to put some threat on these guys. Now, that Demon Master has range 3 magic, so keep him a little bit further back than you normally. Alright, Dillahan went straight after Stalk. Not too bad. Bit of damage. Bit of damage. And then Apis actually gets a good attack from the forest into the plains. Like, this is great um, terrain positioning. HP 2, attack 1, defense 3. Ooh. Apis just got a ton of defense up in two level ups. Alright, Guyan with his freshly leveled up. 9 damage. 12 XP. 
Well, you know, he's going to need more than one good level up to uh, suddenly... Oh no! Domingo! Fire breathed out! I was just thinking of having him try to escape, but uh... Well, now it's down to- it's up to you, Guyan. Oh! Wow, I didn't expect that. The Evil Ring! Casts Bolt 2, I think? Uh, that's... Oh, and there's a Golem ambush! Oh no! I didn't think that would happen! Well, that's a lot of Golems over there. Alright, alright! Just try a Diesel. <laughs> ah, we'll spend some MP here. You should need some experience. Reasonable damage. Alright, Stalk, you move up into the forest where you get better defense. Just in case we don't kill this guy. Not a problem, not a problem. Alright, well I'm upset that we lost to Bingo. So Claude, well, how are we going to deal with this? So I didn't even think of that, but if the enemies can use their rings to attack you for max damage at high range, that's going to be pretty d difficult to deal with. Probably going to want to get healed up before I try anything else with Claude. We'll see how much damage blue can do to a golem. Oh, look at that, no problem. 49 XP. Now, remember, if I hadn't equipped that critical sword, probably subtract 10 damage there. So I'm a little bit concerned about uh, the shade Roost combo, but we'll see. HP 1, quickness 1. Okay, guys, every now and then I do get comments. Blue, why do you hate archers so much? Because they do not get attack up in Shining Force games. And then they have very low defense, and they're useless. And then they die, and they don't really accomplish anything. You're seeing it here. We've had, I think, four or five level ups with stock. As a promoted character, where typically everybody else is getting good stat ups, you're starting to see more twos and the occasional three. And what are my archers doing? Nothing. No attack up at all. One HP, one quickness, who cares? All right, well, I was hoping that Roos would go faster than the Golems. Because now he can't actually hit them. Well, no, that's not totally true. I did just remember one little trick we have up our sleeves. All right, just survive this guy, Anne, and you should win this fight. All right, next turn you have to kill that Cerberus. All right, these guys are finally making some forward progress. All right, so what I was thinking about is I have this heat axe just sitting around. <laughs> it's only Blaze too, but uh, hey, this is better than nothing on Roos. 34 experience, that's actually pretty solid. More golems, okay. You think the southern group will get some golems as well? Alright, how is she should do in here? I would... You know what? Let's see how she... Her physical. She's got this cool... Oh. She's got this cool rod equipped <laughs> that, uh, you know, does a lot of damage. Maybe I should unequip it. Level 5 blue, HP 2, MP 1, attack 2, defense 3. Like, look at those stats compared to what the archers are getting. <laughs> it's just, man. Oh, it's not good for the archers. 
I wonder if I should try to kill... This is why you bring both birds. Because the two birds, if they could get a turn before the, 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 the ringer user would get a turn, then we could kill it before it goes. 65 attack. We could technically get to 75 attack. 75 attack would do 35 damage, almost one-shotting it. Uh, we'll see. Not this turn. These guys up uh, up in the northern pass, they got their work cut out for them. Alright, that's a lot of experience. Golems are, are juicy this time around. Alright, Guyan. Hey, we didn't miss! Cerberus down! Level 3, HP 2, attack 2, defense 3, quick this one. Okay, it's it's not great, but if he gets to attack every level up, he will eventually not... Well, he won't suck too bad. He still might never catch up with Claude or Cray or anyone that gets like 3s, but... Because uh, 3s plus a weapon are going to beat 2s with no weapon any day. All right, Mayfair. Let's just keep blue topped up. I'd like to get her a level up, but I don't really want to waste her MP too much. Like I like, I like to save one aura, basically. I guess I could have used a herb or something. And I do have craze healing coming on over. Okay, so how are we going to crack that uh, Evil Ring Demon Master combo? Bruce, level 4, HP 3, attack 1, defense 2. Not bad. Alright, Isha. I don't know when she learns Blaze 4. But I sure hope it comes soon, if she learns Bolt. I don't even know. I think she actually might learn Bolt 4 rather than Blaze 4. Level 3. HP 1, MP 1, Attack 1, Defense 1. Quick 1. That's a very basic, plain level up there. Can't say it's bad after seeing Stalk and uh, Shade, but... Just plain. Oh man, I don't know how to get over there. With that long-range super area of effect magic coming up, it's going to be hard. HP 1, attack 2, defense 2, quick 1. All right, Shade. Making some ground on stock there. I like it. Maybe had a bad level up last time, but 2 attack, 2 defense now. That, that'll help. So yeah, the trouble... Got one healing seed ready to go. Uh, the trouble with that uh, cleric there, that's... Oh, I keep thinking that we're safe there. I don't know why my... Uh, it's like my sorting of, of distances is just not good. I keep thinking that's more than three away, but it's, it's exactly three away. But yeah, anyway, that attack is going to be real bad on the group. Um... So I'm thinking of letting Roos finish that golem off. Oh good, more golems. I kind of had a feeling that might happen. We could try Diesel. Let's give it a shot. Just for fun. Nope. <laughs> That's about what usually happens. We could have just done 15 damage and got 25 experience. No. Goes for the diesel. Level 20, or level 6. HP 2, attack 2. At okay, so Stock finally got a decent level up. It took a while, but level 6 he got 2 attack power and 1 defense. Which is, you know... It's, it's actually going to take quite a while to make up for all those 0 attacks, but... Better than nothing. Uh, 
Alright, so I'm thinking Bruce is only level 4, let him get the kill. Freaking Claude is getting destroyed every time I move him over there. Ah! Blue is stronger than a golem. Well, Apis couldn't quite finish it off, but it's pretty close. Gaian, well, you know. I guess if I gave him the mobility ring, it would have helped. But the mobility ring is good on anyone. I should probably have moved it off of uh, Cloud, though. Because he's already got uh, Running Pimento, he's got all the movement items right now. Alright, level 4, HP 2, MP 2, attack 1, quickness 1. What you really want to see on the Vickers is that HP up, or sorry, MP up specifically. Not that HP hurts, but... Alright, here you go, Roos. Handed to you on a silver platter. One golem in the mountains. That'll be 49 experience. Not quite a level up, but you're getting close. Alright, now stock. I don't really want to invest in you too much right now. I want someone else to get these kills. You just chill for a minute. Yisha, I think you could use a kill here. Seeing as Diesel did nothing, let's chip away at the last little bit. Oh, I wonder if they take bonus damage from fire. Because seven... No, I think Blaze always does six or seven damage, depending on your luck. I think that's just standard. Typically six, but... You know. I guess it's nice to think of a spell in terms of its minimum damage roll, so that you know that it will finish off an enemy 100%. And for, for that, it would be six. All right, so for sure this time we're out of range. I want the bishop to end its turn close to the mountain. And then we'll see about doing something tricky. Also, do I have... Yeah, why not? If we want Gaia to have any value here at all, we're going to have to heal him up, so... Herbs are cheap. Alright, that's not where I wanted the, the uh, cleric. I guess this group of three, they can just herb themselves up. I don't know if I'm going to wait for everybody to attack, but it might be the right choice. I guess we ran out of herbs. Alright. I want the cleric adjacent to the mountain so that Edmund can't hit him as well. My story, I'm sticking to it. Mayfair has two heals in her, plus a healing seed. To keep her ready. Wendy's got a full bag of MP. She has not used any. Getting a little bit close on the right side here. But uh, that puts Guy in at survives an attack level at least. Also, he did get a lot of defense really quickly there. Uh, maybe he's going to turn into a really tanky uh, low attack kind of unit. Also, this might hurt a bit. Yeah, I got a little bit too close with blue there. Okay. Alright, my... My prep work failed. So now Blue will just get killed by Edmund and we'll have to redo this whole battle. Right? That's how my luck goes. Um, I'll have this herb, Blue. You're gonna need it. So the problem here, as with many things, is the boss can attack twice per turn, so you need to kill him. But the cleric can full heal him, plus has the bolt ring, which is bad. And also there's a demon master, so there's three really high priority targets that we need to kill. 
I think I'm gonna try to go after this bolt casting cleric first because getting the entire group bolt twoed will be the worst. Also, conveniently, Edmund doesn't actually have very much movement, so he couldn't quite get over to us. If he'd cast, um, what's it called? If he had cast, uh, boost on them right there, that might have been interesting as well. But let's see if we can get this cleric done right now. Yeah, no more bolt for you. Now, did I have an inventory space? Yes. Excellent. Level 6. HP 3, attack 2, defense 2, quickness 1. Good level. Now we just gotta kill this uh, mage real, real fast. Or find a way to heal blue up some more. You know, how much defense do you have these days, Gaian? 33? Doesn't seem that high, but... Well, 22 damage per hit, that's a lot. Alright. This is going to be worth it, probably, just to try to keep Blue alive. Because I don't think we're stopping the uh, the Demon Master from casting magic, so just try to get Blue a little bit healthier. I know we're kind of grouped up here, but maybe it would have been worse. Maybe it would have been smarter to keep Apis back, but... I'm just hoping that maybe Claude will get lucky and go before the Demon Master. No. <laughs> Alright, that was probably a mistake. There's definitely a degree of keeping count on the turn order, and that'll make things a lot easier for you if you do that. Fortunately, we got freezed again. Just call that guy Mr. Freeze. But I mean, the terrain here is just trash. This is a terrible place to have a battle against mages. They got a really good defense spot. Alright, by the way, you're dead. Get out of here. You're not welcome. Okay, so all of the magic is dealt with. Now Edmund comes in and probably kills Claude. Critical hit, 30 damage. He probably would have killed him either way. That sucks, because that was one of our big hitters. At least he didn't kill Blue and game over us. We're just going to lose a few units here. I don't think there's any way I can stop it. Um, I don't have enough healing up front. Because of the because of the forest, it's really hard to move at units in here quick. And we're just going to have to start attacking and hope that enough units survive. Because, yeah, he gets double attacks. Say goodbye to Mayfair. Oh, she survived. But, yeah, I, it's actually good that he moved that direction. Uh, it'll be a little bit easier to keep people alive now. I'm not going to boost. I'm just going to try to heal her up. The boost would give her a bit of defense and agility, but at 5 HP, that wouldn't matter. She's stuck. We can't even get away from him. That's not good at all. <sighs> Alright, well, let's top herself up. So if he wants to kill her, he'll have to waste two more attacks, I think. Also, these guys are not helping at all. I don't think it's worth sending Yisha there, to be honest. Alright, Blue. You better not get countered or anything, or you're in real bad shape. Yeah, this is going to be probably the hardest boss we've had to deal with yet. Just because bad positioning and lots of mage support. I guess we're at that point in the game where the bosses get actually tough. Yeah, and if we had, like, a level 4 magic, now would be the time to use it. We just don't. Would be nice to have Dibingo here, you know. Now, bosses do tend to get elemental protection, so they tend to take uh, slightly less damage from from all fire. Wow, just one shot, sir? I was really counting on her surviving one hit there. So he gets two attacks per round, and he seems to have a increased crit rate. Uh, clearly. Alright, well, Mayfair is now basically useless. And his second attack. At least... Like, he has had almost 100% crit rate here. Alright, Craig, get in there, buddy. We need some damage more than heals. 
seven. That's not what I was wanting there. Did I forget to equip his glove or something? Like, he's supposed to have a stronger gun. A stronger gun. Stronger glove. Well, everyone's going to be dead pretty soon anyway, so just take your stab. Yeah, I definitely was not prepared for this. We can do uh, a slow. You know, if that hits, that would be the... That would might have been a good thing to start with. Unaffected. Of course he's immune to slow. It works on almost everything. But bosses, of course, get some sort of special immunity. It's a good thing this is not Fire Emblem, or we're, we just game over here because we lose too many units. Um, you know what? How do you like it? How do you like me now? 11. I should just use Bolt 1 twice, I guess, but... It's some damage. These guys just... I wonder if we could have snuck into the town. Probably not. I have a feeling we have to kill Edmund here. Alright, Stock's dead. He's gonna get another turn. Who else is he gonna kill? At least we're keeping Blue protected, right? Alright. Guyan finally makes it to the front. Just in time to watch Yishi get brutally cut down by... Ooh! She blocked it with her stick! Well... Oh ho 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 ho! Yisha invested in some luck there. Alright, Cray, I need you to do more than... Uh, well, more damage, let's say. So I'm pretty sure Edmund is also regenerating every round, which is pretty standard for bosses. Um... At least with 99 HP, he's probably only regenerating like 9 per turn or something. And it's not too hard to do 9 damage. We're, we're almost there. You know, if I hadn't wasted it all and then Bolt 2, I think Blue could kill him right now. Alright, Isha Could Healing Seed, but he'll still do more than 20 damage anyway. Oh, you know what? Get out of here, punk. We got a black ring. I knew being cursed was worth something. Get out of here. Alright, level 4 Yisha. 1 HP, 1 attack, 1 something else. Was not a good level up. No MP. Hello! You are a traitor to Cyprus! You killed me, your old uncle, to steal the throne! Yeah, I, uh, I think you attacked me. Plus, uh... You know. Don't listen to Edmund. He is just a puppet in Waldo's hands. Remember me, Prince Blue? I'm your knight, Randolph, and I am at your service. I'm the only one left from my platoon, and I want to fight Waldo. No, I don't remember you. He just forces himself into the party. Very sad music, by the way. I think you're supposed to care about Edmund a lot more than I care about Edmund. Let's rest here for a short while, then confront Waldo. Oh boy, that's like a 50 minute episode. That's a long one. But yeah, that was a real grinder of a level, no doubt about it. And we certainly had a lot more deaths than I'm happy about. So, you know, I, I never promised like an Iron Man playthrough or nothing, but as I am quite familiar with playing XCOMs and Fire Emblems, it always stings a little bit when you're playing Shining Force and you take like a half of your party wipe. But, you know, keep in mind, these games are designed they are balanced around not going perfectly, you know, no losses, right? Like, it's... There isn't really much penalty for losing a couple characters. You just pay a little bit of money and then they're back. You just miss out on some experience and pay a bit of gold, so... It's not really punishing. Um, oh, I could get rid of that curse. Ah, not right now. She's fine. It only affects her physical attack, I think, and it's kind of nice to have the ability to cast that free blaze too, honestly. Uh, what else can we do here? I think everyone's already promoted. Yeah. Let's look at our new characters. I know this has been a long episode, but just before we end up, let's look at our two newbies. Just get a feeling. So we got Shriek at level 7. Uh, 52 attack with a steel sword. That's, a uh, not a very good sword. 52 attack, very low defense. Now, how does this compare to, uh, Claude? Let's say 33, 52, 19, 19 at level 7. 33, 65. Ooh. I'm not too happy with Shriek, because she doesn't have she or he, whatever. 
doesn't have a lot of uh, room for improvement joining at level 7. Like, flyers are good, don't get me wrong, and we could definitely give her the movement ring. So she'd have 8 movements, so we'd have 2 flyers with 8 movement. That would be pretty good. But with 19 defense and very little level up left to actually grow... I mean, Claude's at 31 and he still feels super fragile. Um, no wonder Wendy always dies, wow. Yeah, defense of a mage, except higher level, and the mages will have more defense when they get to level 7, hopefully. Anyway, then there's Randolph, uh, Chrome Lance, 56, 29, 20. So, I think it's like 5 better than a Power Spear, maybe? That gives him a significant advantage over Kashing. Like, Kashing is trash. Randolph might be okay. Um, compared to Apis, they're the same level, I think. Apis has Power Spear equipped. 50, 37, 16. Um, Chrome Lance does a little bit more than the Power Spear. So Apis, I think, gets more defense, but Randolph might be decent, actually. Interesting. Because I do like having more Paladins, make no mistake. Who would I replace Randolph? Like, I don't think I want Shriek, too low defense. Don't want Gates, bad stats. Don't want Kashing, bad stats. Definitely like Domingo. Gaian, I still want to try, but I think he's garbage. Like, I'm pretty sure Gaian is bad. I think, just looking at it, Randolph would be better than Gaian. Like, remove 5 attack power, Gaian's at 42. He doesn't have anything else really going for him. Low mobility, pretty good defense, I guess. But even still, not much better than Randolph. Um, I'm not sure about these mages. They gotta start learning better spells, and I have no idea if they will learn these at level 5 or 10 or 20. I guess I could look it up. My guide might be wrong, though. But uh, they need to get a level 4 spell to start damaging late-game enemies, and there's not much time left. Mayfair is good. Stock, well, he's okay for now. I guess I don't want to cut anyone just yet, but I think it might be worth talking about adding Randolph, but I'm not sure. Um, I guess what I'll do, I gotta end the episode, we're already way over time. Uh, maybe we'll save some shopping for the beginning of tomorrow's episode, and uh, like there's a new sword, new axe, I don't think it'll be better. New, new staff, probably new gloves. You know, it's good stuff. Oh, I mean, hey, that's nice. That's a, a full heal to everyone on the battle. It's like Aura 4, but I on use item. Yeah, you know, we'll buy one of those or two of those, whatever. Any uh, deals? No. Okay, so I'm going to do a little bit of inventory management, and then we'll go shopping and stuff next episode as we figure out what I'm doing. Uh, I, I know I need to move around that running ring and stuff, so I'll try to figure that out. Anyway, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Hope you've enjoyed, and have a great day.